How many of you are waiting for the touch of God? Lift up your hand. Your time has come. God bless you. Uh, let me share with you what is in my heart. This is in my heart. And then from the Bible, open your Bibles. Can I greet you all in Jesus' name? Okay. Let's read First Thessalonians 4, 13. We read from 13. First Thessalonians 4, Thessalonica. 4 from 13. We read from 13. It says, but we will not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning them that fall asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as the rest, who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also that are fallen asleep in Jesus, will God bring him. 15, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we that are alive, that are left unto the coming of the Lord, shall in no wise precede them that are fallen asleep. Look at verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Look at verse 17. Then we that are alive, that are left, shall together with them be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. I just want us to, to understand why I'm reading all this. I've been thinking about the church is asleep because of persecution. And I realized that if the persecution can be increased, so if it is can be increased, automatically it means the Lord will come. Where we are reading, you could see that the, the coming of the Lord is so close. I want us to talk about what I've never spoke about. Let's just write rapture, be ready. Just write, be ready. I found that many of us, we are not ready at all. Our focus uh, in the things of the world and <inaudible> the who's coming. The way this thing will happen, it will be very fast. If we can see where we are reading, we were started to be told about the sorrow that we normally have when we lose other people. And then from there, we were shown that we, this sorrow can lead us to sin. And we are encouraged to understand that those who left us are better than us who are alive. Because they will be the ones that will meet the Lord first. Rapture is coming. 
but we must be ready mara tsentsho ba ba itukishitseng to be alive o pila better than when you are dead a o ka uno fitisha o tokofetse o was speaking ke ntse paulo a ibolelang mo ke that to be alive o ba o ba motho a pila o ba motho a pila is not better than when you are dead a se ka o ka uno fita o tokofetse maybe that's why paul says for me to live is christ that's why paul are only now pila ke christ o gwa ke o goleya but let's to look at the two things that have been written mara are ba leng to tshe pele tshe tingwa dilweng The first one on verse 3 it says uh, you don't need to be ignorant. Are toko ba batho asinang taba. You know to be ignorant it means lacking of knowledge. O bo se bele taba o ra o re rena thoka tsebo kai kai. Sometimes we lack knowledge to extend that. A wa tshe dingwe re thoka tsebo fetela se mong sa ore. Because we don't get answers. O te sa taka taka no bona re ka stole di petulo. So that ignorance can really affect us on his coming. Ya no o se bele taba go la o ka re affect mo o teng hagae. And we found that we end up like you know Joshua when Moses has left. Wa ra ta ra sona le Joshua a moshe a sepitse. Because it happens by the time when Uh, Josh, Moses left Joshua cry a lot. Kanna ko ye Moshe sepela Joshua wila o ya la botoko. Not knowing that he have got an assignment to carry. Asa tsibo rona le mushumo a tsontsho ra tshole pele ka bona. Look at this another verse also in verse 16. Ara lebella ga pe molago verse 16. That is the second uh, words that I want us to see. It says when the Lord is there ke bona morena yena shall descend from heaven. O tlo thewa o thale o tlo. I love that verse because it said that the Lord himself yena morena shall descend from heaven. O tlo thewa o thale o tlo. But what I want us to look is this one with a shout. Ka mo go ka le go wa ba hueletsa with the voice. Ka le ntshwe of the archangel. La morongwa o mo golo. The angel the angel here is Michael here. Ya tsebore morongwa a bolelwang ka yena ke Mikiel. The one who fight for the children of God. Yo a lwanelang bana ba mothim. Will be the one that will descend. Ke yena a tatewa o. With many angels. Le ba rongwa ba bantshi. And this will happen with a shout. Ena ye ntaba e tatiala ka mogoshi of a voice. Ka mogoshi wa le ntshwe. If you understand the sound of a voice. Ha o ka kwishisha. It does it. It is in okay one minute. Motuma wa le ntjwa o di ale ka motsotsana moteng. Have you ever find that you can shout two minutes? O ka le wa bona re o ka hueletsa motsotsana mebe. Because if you read here the Bible say the shout of a voice. Ka o bana mo hulelwa ka mogoshi wa le ntjwa. Shout with the voice. Ka le ntjwa. In other words there will be something like hey! O tla ba le ntjwa o sona le yona yeo. So therefore you will be caught in the midst of whatever you are thinking o ra re wena o tla tshwara ya ka ra dintho tshe o sa ba o tla ba o dinahana this it happens very fast within seconds this thing will be happen hey tla ba ye di ala ka pelanyana mitsotsona e tla ba e setse dirage everybody will hear that voice ene motho ka o fela mogoshi o tla o kwa i want us to be ready to meet the lord ke ya go rena re itukisho re tere gona kopana le morena I felt this we are becoming ignorant of it. Ke ile ka ra ke lebela ka tholo ra ra sana taba le taba tsa mofuta o. That's why our teachings are based on what we can get. That is why re lebela tshi kudu re ka hwetsang a re ruta in this world. Mo le fasing leno. Not where we are going. E seng mo re yang teng. And whatever we get here we will leave it behind. Ene ka mo ka tsa re di tsholang re le mo le fasing leno ta tswe. Ka o fela tsa re di tsholang mo. You will leave it behind. Re ka di tlogela na mo. This is the mistake we are having today in the church. Ke posore nang le yona le khono kerekeng. Where our focus are on the things that are perishing. Mo re na re lebele tshi kudu di ntho tshe di felang. This is the mistake now we are spending on praying. Ke posore. Cry. Ye re fetsa nna go tlhelela go le o yona re la re putsisha. Why na yena? Not knowing that this day will come. Re sa tsebo re le tsa tshe lona le yeta. When I was reading this I was very very worried a ke ba la taba ye ke le ka tshwara ko bilela go hola especially on verse 17 go to go to verse 17 it says that we that are alive that are left shall shall together shall together rena ba ba setseng re tla re rena le bona those who die caught up ba ba shwileng ba le ba sepetseng ra kopana le yena marung to be caught up o swara na le yena 
is not to take it. Asuchia is to take by force. Kuchia kahang will be caught up. Reto tsarwa. You know, anything can happen at any time. Cut up. We're supposed to believe that it will be taken up. So the, the, the Bible says it will be caught up. In, in other words, it will be like boom. And the Bible says we must not have ignorant with us. You know, today, everybody when we preach other things, everybody say amen. But no one is ready to meet the Lord. Can you ask, ask are you ready to meet the Lord? That's the reason why today we have got many people in our churches who don't know that the Lord is coming. And they are busy praying for things to happen in their lives. And not not that those things will be left behind. You know where we have read by Samaria, I want to tell you this. We are taught that those who left are better than us who left behind. And then also it's a lesson for us that those who left will follow them. And when we follow them, even the day, they will wake up, they will find us down. And when we are done, when we stand up, we will find them standing. Now they have fallen, we are standing. But when the Lord comes, you will fall and they will stand. When you stand up, you will be caught up. So be ready for that. So be ready for that. Ask somebody, say, are you ready for the rapture? I want to teach you many things concerning that. Let me show you the second scripture in Matthew 25. If we read from 6 to 13, from 6 to 13, I'll make sure we read. But at midnight, there is a cry. Behold, the bridegroom, come ye forth to meet him. Then all those visions arose and trimmed their lamps. And verse 8, And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, Say, adventure, there will not be enough for us. And you go, go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And 10, And while they went away to buy, the brother groom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Can you see the verse there? Amen. And the door was shut. Verse 11, afterward came also the other vision, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. And but he answered and said, Verily, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know not the day nor the hour. Just read that verse. 13 aloud in your Bible. It says what? Verse 13, Raoul, Bible Watch therefore for you know not the day nor the hour. Here it shows that you know this was a parable of the end. And Jesus was speaking about the issue that will happen in the last day. That everybody has been given time equally, responsibility equally, chairs equally. It's a how you become wise from what you have been given to work on what you have been given wisely. If you read there, you will see that 
these people they knew that they are waiting for the bridegroom. If you can understand, it's like our churches, we know we are going to heaven. But unfortunately, there was no readiness here. The foolish ones, they still think they have got other chance. They still think time can be allowed or they can be allowed to go out and gather other things. The lesson we learn here is Jesus was saying, because we don't know time, yes, so let's make sure that we are complete. complete. Because you don't know time, make sure you are complete. Whatever is required by the bridegroom, you cannot search for it when he's there. The moment when he's there, you'll be checking if you are complete. And if you are not complete, automatically the door will be shut. See, this is the time that we must know that God does not have any respect of any man. You are given an opportunity to deal with yourself until you become complete. Whatever is required of you, you have been given the responsibility of acquiring it so that when the bridegroom comes, it must be found in your life. I have read this several times. I was always asking myself, what's the meaning of this? And I asked myself, this is the same thing. There will be a voice. Yeah, there will be a cry. Because a, a sound of a voice shouting is like a cry. Tell them say, my friend. Whatever is required of you to do, do Make it. sure you are complete. Because our Lord is coming. Just read Luke 17. From 26. I want us to read. From 26. Yes, just read in your Bible there. Because if you read Revelation 1 verse 7, it says, He's coming. He's coming on the clouds. And every eye will see. Your, your eye will see. But let's, let's read Luke 17. Luke 17. But first, he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. And as it was in the day of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the Son of Man. Carry on. They ate, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, likewise at it, as it was also in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they brought they, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. Can you hear that? You know, many of us will be so much busy. And still we are busy. Have you ever find yourself fasting to make sure that your life in the Lord and the fellowship with the Lord becomes perfect? Normally when you do fasting, it's because you want to build, you want to eat. You, you fast because you want something. Have you ever found yourself you are doing fasting because you want your life to be clean before God? You are, you are, you are, you are seeking righteousness. 
many times when you fast God I want my eyes to see. Anga tarari kona mudimu matwa bule kibone. Then you want your eyes to see so that you eat, you drink. Taba ya uri we na matwa bone kuru kono jau ne ukure. Your eyes to see will be a profession. Matwa uri ata bone na ita ba ili mushumu mowen. Now we can hear what the Bible says. It says, "In the days of Lot, in the days of Lot, they were enjoying themselves." If you remember, even the people who came to Lot that day, they were talking many things there. They, they, they were just saying, "Bring these people to us." We will, 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 they are drawing, they are doing all, they are, they are, they are searching wives, they want to marry, friends, and the Lord comes. And this thing is going to happen. Don't ever think that when the Bible talks about persecution, that it will come, it will be coming, it will be coming to non-Christians. Persecution will come to Christians. The moment when it comes, you come to Christians, not other people, Ethan, pretenders, those who play in the church, those who are just not even marrying the vision of the church, they'll be busy enjoying themselves, and the Lord comes. I'm sure you are, you are hearing that verse. Uh, let's, let's read aloud on that verse 26. It says what? Well, let me read it for you. And it came to pass in the days of Noah, even so shall it also in the days of the Son of Man. Amen. You see that verse there? It, it, says, it says that we have been given a sign of his coming. It's a sign that, okay, now we can go and read by the time of Noah. Noah was stupid to their eyes. No, he was always saying, the rain is coming. The rain is coming. Please, Please, come and come and the Please. You know, they were still going to church. Talking about blessing. And Noah said, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. Let's let's we need to we enter here. here. And all these things will be lost. I'm sure many of them were casting him and binding yeah, him. But they were scattering him. And say, it doesn't know they were laughing but at him. They were laughing at him. And he came. And he came. And they were watering him. 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 Alright, let me show you the verse 27. They ate. They ate. Baja. They drank. Anwa. They married. Anyalana. They were given in marriage. Until that Noah entered into the ark. O fitel la Noah ke atena kara arek. And the flood came. Mete fola fitla. If you want to see why today you and me we are fighting each other. Is because of food. Because even if, you know, how many people you have in your church, the money that you eat will never be millions to your stomach. You are just fighting for the food that everybody can eat. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Even someone who doesn't have a big church can still eat that. These people, they ate, they, they, built, they, built, they built. Can you ask somebody very close to you? What is it that you are busy on doing? Be careful it does not bring distractions because many people are busy, busy. And 
and the Bible says, you know, your soul is more than whatever you have in the world. There's no money that can buy your soul. There's, there's no property that can put your soul, I mean, to rest. Not long, I was learning... Uh, I'm sure it was two years back. <laughs> I might be having more than 10 years not counting the money of the church. After I got this revelation, <laughs> that the more you get money, is the more you cry, the more. But the more you get Christ, is the more money searches for you. <laughs> I'm sure you are hearing me. As you never say, my friend. The more you try to search for money, is the more you will try to search for more. But the more you get Christ, the more money follow you. So, one of our problems today is. We are busy searching for things that we're supposed to be searching for. So, who is wise there? And here we are wasting time where we we're supposed to be gathering the best to our soul so that we become complete when it's coming. We are busy, busy try to find what we can eat. Let me give an example of what happened one time. That day, I don't, I don't forget, I was still staying in Bedford View. So that day, they said, you know, there's no water. There was no water anywhere. There was no water. I think not water, it was electricity, if I remember. I've seen cars, whoo, 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 everybody searching for candle. Everybody was so serious searching for a candle. Other drive even passing the rules. Overtaking when they're not supposed to overtake. And we are not doing that when we are searching for Jesus. Most of the time, we make sure that Jesus is behind, but we search for everything. Ah, I never never I said, it's like it's the end of the world. The way I was looking at it. Like, oh, 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 oh. I even went outside. Somebody nearly bumped on me. Just to get a candle. Because of the light, somebody wanted a light. But if we can do that knowing that there is something we need for our soul, so, so that when he, he comes, we won't be left behind with, with our cars, with our houses, with our money, with our money accounts, in Absa Net Bank, I mean, I mean uh, African Bank, Bank. Makananisa Bank. 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 Most of you, when you go to the bank there, you feel like you are better than others. When you are to that bank, but your soul, your soul is crying all the time. Ask somebody say, my friend, are you ready for his coming? Can you ask that question again? And uh, allow your neighbor to tell you something. Can you just allow, are you ready? Are you ready? Hey, uh, I'm sure. You were waiting for me to say, you are blessed. Receive, Receive that, that car. car. Receive that car. You were waiting. You were waiting for me to tell you that now you are healed. Hey. Whether you want healing or not, one day you will die. Whether you want money or not, one day you will leave it behind. Whatever you are searching, you are searching for vanity upon vanity. Seek him, all shall be added upon you. If you look at that verse there, in verse 29, it says, but in the day that the Lord went out from Sodoma, 
It rained fire and brimstone and destroyed them all. I want to tell you that many people were destroyed there. We're not worse sinners than you. Do you know that there were even Jews? They went to Jesus and said, Jesus, what do you say? Do you know that Pilate, what he did there? He what? destroyed our what? people. And mixed their blood with, with this useless things. Jesus looked at them and said, if you don't repent, you will die like that. Jesus was looking on them than others is focusing on you than another. What will happen if we get a rapture now? When you were busy singing in the church, busy busy church, church, church dancing in the church, your MC, your, MC your you are an usher, assistant pastor there, you are an assistant, and you find you left there. What will happen? Why do we have to waste time Why when we know we are not complete? I was very worried and say, why these five girls who are fools? You know that they don't have oil, they waste their time waiting for somebody they will never be with them. As I say, my friend, are you ready? If rapture happened now, Check what you are praying for now. What you are praying for, go, I, want, I want the business. Oh, oh, even your heart is beating. Like you want to die. Oh, oh, Lord, oh, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, I want to marry that lady. I want to visit that lady now. Visit, visit that lady now. Visit that brother. Visit that brother. Visit that brother. Hey. Visit that brother. You are fasting. You are losing shape for nothing. This is the time now. I see your soul more now, than any other things you have. Can you tell her about this? Is the time. Of living living like you don't have anything. Do you know that Paul spoke about it? He says, even the one who's married, he must live like he's not married. Why? Because, you know, you know the season. You could see what is happening. I don't know if you're hearing that. If you believe, say amen. amen. If you want to go, say amen. I don't know if you want to go. You want want to go. go. Always be ready. Let's read this scripture. Maybe it will help us. Uh, in Matthew 24, Matthew 24. Again, let's read from 29 to 34. 29 to 34. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. 29. There. 29. Maybe it will help us. Matthew 24. What? From 29. Okay, let me read. But immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. As somebody say, where, where, let me ask in Venda, where will you be at that time? You, see, you heard that verse there? Let, Let me read it again. Verse 29. It says, But immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. As somebody says, Where will you be on that time? 30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man 
coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And 31, and he shall send forth his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of heaven to another. You can see that verse there. But I want us to look at this issue of what will be happening that time. It says, after tribulation. After tribulation on Christians. What will happen? Oh, let me give an example of one tribulation that is happening now in Russia. There's a law they pass that you are no longer going to preach to someone. There is no issue of gathering together. In other words, it's like they are cancelling church. Do you know that it's part of tribulation? Do you know that if you can't go to a church it's when you are a Christian, you will feel you are sick. You will feel like you are, it's not you. Now they cancel and the law has been passed. So, so can I give you an example? Do you think by what is happening in our country, there won't be some laws? When we are still quiet, another one comes with something. When we are still saying, now everything is going well. You you just say, there's a prophet who is doing one, two, three. It will lead to some laws that will bring persecution. I don't know if you are hearing me. When you are quiet, you are still saying, now, we thank God for the church. We thank God for the church. You will just hear, there's a prophet. And this prophet is doing one, two, three. And from there you hear the government say, hey, no, let's enter, let's enter. This will bring to persecution of Christians. This, this is a devil's work of bringing persecution. I don't know if you're hearing me. Otherwise, at the end of the day, you will never know which one is right. Let me show you in the book of Daniel, maybe Daniel 13. Maybe, we'll maybe you will understand what I'm talking about. If you read 12, yeah, let's read. Daniel 12, yeah, 12, verse 1. I said 13, 12. And at that time shall Michael, remember I was telling you about. Uh, Michael, stand up, the great prince who stand for the children of thy people, and there shall be the time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time, and that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book shall be what? Delivered. All right, look at that verse again. At that time, Shall Michael stand up, the great prince who standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. The time of trouble is coming. Whereby the, we have to be tested. If we mean business. Can I give an example? Huh? Some of us here. We love our lives better than losing our lives for Christ. One time I said in the church, I said, if somebody enter here with AK forces and say, Christians, lift up your heads. How many Christians are here? See, see the way you are lifting hands. It's because I'm carrying the Bible. If I ask that when I'm carrying everything, I'm telling you, many of you, you'll be accusing me who's holding the Bible. When I'm carrying the Bible, 
when devil wants to do that sometimes he do something in the church when devil do bad thing in the church is to check if the ones who are in truth will remain if something bad happened in the church you will know who are Christians if somebody come and say now are you a Christian you will be just saying I don't even know how I came here this person who is preaching the gospel here is having a magic magic that is why, by the time of Jesus, when these people of Sanhedrin, Sanhedrin wanted to find the solution of carrying on with their work, the Bible says they spoke their strategy. What they said was, there was a man here. He gathered people. He was killed. And the members scattered. There was another one. He was killed. And the members scattered. Let's kill him. And you will see what will happen. You, that's where you understand where Christians are found. It's when a leader is under attack is when Christians who were supposed to be supporting the church are under the attack there is a time of trouble it has started rapture is coming be ready don't be intimidated by anything you see I don't know if you are hearing me check somebody say my friend I am not intimidated by anything I see your friends they don't even know you are Christian but you are singing in the church, you are dancing. That's why sometimes you even forget sometimes. You end up dancing that dance. You dance because you do things here sometimes. We Christians who have to be doing it all the time. time. If you become constant in your Christianity, when he appears, you will go. Check your Christianity. The trouble will come, but it won't won't shake you. Shame will come, but it won't shake you. Distraction will come, but it won't shake you. Because you know where you are going. Even Jesus spoke about it. In John 14, you people call it cabbage. Don't be troubled in my father's house. There are many mentions. You cannot be troubled. When there's a trouble, he spoke and said, Chair, I have overcome the world. Because the world will be like rejoicing and say, Hey, there's no issue of prayer. Look here. I want to tell you something. In this time from now forward, check the people who will be enjoying their best. You will find that they are false words to affect those who think they are That's why the Bible says even those who are elected will be deceived. Because you will look at your life you find you are not going anywhere. What are you going to do? You will join them. They will even tell you join us. You join join Zabalazo. But this is the time that Christians must stand their ground. Tell say my friend come watch me. I'm not looking back. I'm on my race. I know where I'm going. That's my friend. I know my Christian life. I'm not looking back. I know where I'm going. Can you ask somebody very close to you? Are you sure you are a Christian? Are you sure you are a Christian?
Let me show you, read some scriptures and we close. Go and read Matthew 24 from verse 1. These are the signs of his coming. The signs of his coming in 2 Timothy 3. From verse 1 to 6. Maybe we can just read a little bit of Matthew 24 from verse 1. Matthew 24. You will, find, you will find who are the people, how they will be behaving, what will be happening. Let me try to say this. A child of God, when you come to church from today, don't tell anybody. The day you get deliverance, you'll be surprised is the day when your friend is not around. Because you may not be knowing that people who think they know you are the ones who are worsening problems. A person is a spirit. It's not the flesh and blood. So whoever he is, when you join with him, you are also say you fight his battle. And how can you overcome someone's battle where as you have got your own? This is the time now that when you come to the house of God you deal with yourself. Check yourself. You forget if he is there or not. You forget everybody. You concentrate unto him. The author and the finisher of your faith. Let me try to tell you this. Your time has come where you have been waiting for the Lord and he will lift you up. I say he will lift you up. Are you ready for him when he's coming? Can you just read, Mama, from verse 1 there? I just want to show you some signs of his coming. Just read very fast, Mama. And then. then Jesus went out and departed from the temple. Uh -huh. And his disciples came up to show him the peace, the buildings of the temple. The buildings and, of the temple. Yes. And Jesus said to them, uh -huh. Do you not see all these things? Assuredly, I say to you, uh -huh. not one stone shall be left here upon another uh -huh. that shall not be thrown down. Yeah. Now, as he said on the Mount of Olives, mm -hmm. the disciple came to him privately, mm -hmm. saying, Tell us when will these things be, and what will be the signs of you coming? Stop there, Mama. Now, after he said... The, the beautiful building by the time of, of Jesus. They say, hey, this building. They were praising the building. <laughs> and, and you know, they had a question when Jesus said, this building will fall. And to extend that there will be no stone that will be top of the ground. <laughs> the bricks, another one will just fall, the other one there. But they have a the question. They say, ah. Okay, they went aside to say, ah, let's ask him. It's frightening. It's frightening. Let's ask him. The sign, we need to know. If the brick of this beautiful building, and there will be no any brick on top of another, no, we need to know the end time. Can you give us the sign? Mama, can, you go, can you read the sign? Listen to that. It says, and what will be the sign of your coming uh -huh. and of the end of the age? Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said to them, uh -huh. take heed that no one deceives you. Uh -huh. For many will come in my name, saying I am the Christ and will deceive many. Stop uh there. Many will come in my name. Baba and say, I'm Christ. And then you'll be deceived. And then you'll be deceived. Okay. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must you, come you, to you pass. You remember the rumors of war. Look what is happening now, war in Syria. 
Look at the rumors of war in Korea. It's like, hey, now they will fight, they will fight. Nothing, nothing. It's a rumor. But look what is happening in Syria. It's a sign of his coming. Uh -huh. Amen. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Yes. For nation will rise against nation uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom. Uh -huh. And there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various stop, places. Stop there. Look what was happening in Nigeria. Where people now killing each other and doing this. Others say, okay, no, we are the people of cows. Let us come there and enter there. What about the, the king now? Where is he now? The king there. There's issues of rising against each other. What, what was happening here in South Africa? Where we call other people foreigners. This is what this is a sign of his coming. Where you are not even afraid to kill someone. As as you don't care it's a foreign. And then you forget you are sinning against God. Because once you are a child of God, there is no foreign. You are all in the household of God. Just, just, just carry on. All these are beginning of sorrows. Mm. Are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations but for my name's sake. Stop there. Think about delivering each other. And killing each other. This thing is there. People are killing each other. And this thing you find a Christian is killing another Christian. A pastor is killing another pastor. This thing is happening now. It's not something of uh, next year. It is already starting to happen. Can you just repeat that, Mama? Just repeat that. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation uh -huh. and kill you and you will be hated by all nations you know, for this my name's sake. This scripture, I never thought it would happen. Where like you, that you, that you that are that hated for nothing. And you find people are just hating you. But it's the sign of his coming. He'll be hated for his name's sake. If you have not reached that level where you, can, you, are, you are not hated, there's a problem in your Christianity. Carry on, carry on mama. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. Uh -huh. And you will be hated by all nations for uh -huh. my name's sake. Uh -huh. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, Stop and there. will hate one another. Many will be offended and betray one another. Already is happening. We also experience it here in Charis. Betraying one another. I mean, hating each other. If you can ask, why are you hating me? Lies must come out. This is what is happening. It's not a new thing. Read, continue, Mama. Then many false prophets, prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, mm. the love of many will grow cold. This is, but the, this is the issue of... The, now, the false prophet will rise up and deceive many. We are expecting to have a false prophet who can deceive many. It has been written. Can you, can you on, mama? But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nation. And then the end will come. Look here. Already the gospel has been preached. Go to Facebook and see. If you just go to Facebook, everybody can get it. If you can go, have, don't have TV, you can go to Facebook. The gospel is already reached all over the world. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen to the Bible, the Bible says, but he who will endure. In other words, 
It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Where you will find someone running there. After deceived, they're running there. Offense, everything. And this thing will be happening in the church. It won't happen to atheists. Athens will be dancing there. Holding beer. Say, Chana. 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 They will be carrying on dancing. And Christians here fighting each other. Doing whatever. But the one who will endure will be saved. So these are the signs of his coming. This is the time whereby you guard your soul. You your soul. This is the time of taking care of your salvation. People are rising up, hating each other, fighting for nothing. But Jesus is coming. Are you ready for him? If you are ready for him, guard your soul. Guard your soul. Glory be to God.